Chapter 3 A Stitch in Time Kr. Oh no! Wales, Sham. The scenes of his favorite shirt have come apart. I can't wear this shirt anymore. Tata. Of course you can, silly. His grandfather says. We can repair it. Tata takes a needle and a spool of blue thread. He shows Sham how to stitch the seams together. Sham's friend, Trisha, has come home. Let's go home, she says. In a minute, says Sham. Let me iron my shirt first. He switches on the iron, but the light doesn't glow and the iron remains cold. Oof, I'll just wear the crumpled shirt. Grumbles Sham. I was at the repair mirror last week, says Shisha. George Uncle, who teaches chemistry in my brother's college, was repairing an iron. I watched what he was doing very closely. Let's try to set it right. Do you have a screwdriver? Shyam hunts in the cupboard and gets a screwdriver. Shisha unscrews the back of the iron. See this wire? When you switch on the power, electric current passes through it and heats up the iron plate, says Shisha. And this small thing is a thermostat. It makes sure that the iron doesn't get too hot. If the heat goes way up, it just cuts off the power. The red light goes out. When the iron cools down, the current flows again and the lights come on. Other heating devices must work the same way, right? Geysers, kettles, ovens. But Shisha is not listening. She is peering into the iron. What's wrong? Asks Shyam. I don't think I can repair it. Oh no. Appa and Amma will scold us when they see what we have done to the iron. We'll take it to the repair mela. They'll help us. Before Shyam's parents can ask them about the iron, he and Shisha take it and sneak out on their cycles to the repair mela. Auntie, can you help us repair this iron? Shisha asks Anupama auntie. What's wrong with it? It won't switch on, says Shisha. Anupama auntie takes out a little box with wires and knobs. This is a multimeter, she says. It checks if all parts of the iron are allowing electric current to flow. Let's start with the plug. Next, she tests all the other parts until she comes to a small wire. See this wire next to the plug? It's broken, even though it doesn't look damaged. There's your problem. She cuts out the old wire and plug and fixes a new wire and plug to the iron. Let's test it. She switches it on and the light glows. The children laugh with relief. They spend some more time at the mela, observing all the interesting repair work being done. Then they decide to head home. Oh no, the rear tire of my bike has a puncture. Let's take it to the Manikandan Anna, says Shrisha. Puncture, no problem, says Manikandan Anna, who has a small cycle repair shop in the neighborhood. He has been invited to the repair mela. He turns the cycle upside down. He takes a pair of tire levers and pries the tire away from the metal rim. Soon the inner tube is out. Can you see a hole anywhere? Anna asks the children. They can't. Then how do you tell where the puncture is? He asks. The children look at him cluelessly. He immerses the tube part by part in a tub half filled with water. At one point, they see small bubbles rising. See, that's where the hole is. Anna says. He cuts a small piece of rubber from an old tube. After rubbing the surface of the tube around the hole with sandpaper, he applies a rubber adhesive to the tube and the piece of rubber. Come, seal this. He says, Shyam puts a piece of rubber on the hole and presses it down. If not for professionals, who fix cycles, umbrellas, footwear and other things, we would have mountains of waste all over, says Shyam. The iron is fixed, the tire is fixed and Shrisha and Shyam ride back home. It is a day well spent.